Welcome. Today I would like to talk about how you can build a multi-screen uh, layout uh, using the Java FX. And uh, basically what I'm talking about is uh, that uh, you have an app which is similar to say a shopping cart. Uh, essentially you go from one screen to another screen and you can go back and forth and uh, towards the end you can check out or something similar. To make it very uh, simple, basically what I've done is I have created uh, three uh, grid panes here. You can see 1.fxml, 2.fxml and 3.fxml and they are pretty straightforward and they have their own controllers, one controller, two controller and three controller. So that's what you can do. Let me just show you in the screen builder one of the screens and uh, pretty much all of them are quite similar except uh, so there is uh, some common area where they are showing an image it could be anything else and then we have a button next so we could navigate to the next screen that's in one if i show you in two controller it's going to be pretty similar except uh, that we have i have a previous and a next button so here is a previous button and a next button and this is the two when you click on the next it should take you to screen three so uh, that's pretty much uh, how I have set it up here for these three screen builders. So each of them have their own controllers. Now the trick is how can you have a, like a main app which can navigate through those all these three schemes. So let me just show you uh, one approach that I've used. Uh, so let me share with you the main app uh, where most of the logic is happening. Essentially what I have done is I have created a static anchor pane which is the root and then I have a static list of grid panes. Grid panes are the ones which we are using for screen 1, screen 2 and screen 3 and so forth. In this example I am using just 3 screens. So at the start I am going to load the root which is the anchor pane and assign it to this variable which I have. And then uh, for this list grid, I'm going to add all the three screens, one, two, and three, and that's what it is. And that's pretty much it. And in the, in the beginning, uh, it's going to to the root anchor pane. It will just add one children, which is the grid got zero index, the first one, one dot fxml. So uh, the logic, let me just show you the logic in one controller dot Java, just for an example of what you can do. Basically, when the button right is being click, uh, clicked, I'm going to call a function in main uh, static function and it says set pane to one, which is basically I'm in one controller. That means I was on the zeroth pane. I want to go to the next one. And let me show you the logic uh, that uh, you can use in the set pane. It's pretty straightforward. What it is, is uh, I have already, uh, whenever I get an index pane of one, I'm going to remove the existing one. So this is the existing one is index current. I'm going to remove it from the root then I will add the new one that we want to add and then just change this index uh, uh, local variable so I have that. So it's pretty straightforward in one controller and I can show you in two controller it's essentially going to be stream because now we can go to the left pane main dot set pane 0 main dot set pane 2 and uh, this keeps it very clean all of your uh, button handling everything is in your controller and let me just show you how this works uh, in action. So if I just uh, start it, so you can see the next showed up. If I click on next, previous and next showed up and next I can go to the previous and see this is an easy way to build uh, a very clean code in terms of having uh, each screen with its own controller. And hopefully you've enjoyed this. If you want to search for these and other videos, you can uh, go to my website and search for JavaFX or any other uh, things you would like. Thank you for watching this short screencast and you have a great day.